Hi everyone, it's School of Scholarships and I'm your host as I hope you're all doing well. And today we're going to talk about three universities in South Korea that don't have application fees. Let's get to it. Studying abroad is the dream of many people, but going through the admission process can turn the dream into a nightmare. Gathering the paperwork, sending the documents, preparing for the interview, writing an essay, and then do it all again and again and again for every university. However, the toughest part for most international students is usually paying for the whole process. And Korea is not an exception, of course. Most universities will ask you to pay an application fee during the admission process. And since we know that every single penny counts, especially as a student, here we'll show you three Korean universities that don't have application fees. Now, application fees in South Korea usually go from 60 to 150 dollars, which might be affordable for some people, but most international students usually apply apply to a lot of universities to increase their chances of being accepted, which means after doing their research and deciding on universities they want to apply to, they usually have like 5 to 8 universities on their lists. And if they pay the application fees for all of them, the cost can go up to 300 to over a thousand dollars. So for those who cannot afford this or just simply want to save as much as they can for the actual education, let's see our universities with no application fees. At number 1, we have also National Institute of Science and Technology which is located in one of the largest cities in Korea, Ulsan. This public university is perfect for those who are passionate about technology and science, as it has multiple graduate and undergraduate schools of engineering and science. It also has an innovative research center, as well as research activities and groups. UNIST is perfect for international students, as its programs were designed to promote globalization. All their courses are taught in English, and students must choose at least two concentration areas. Their campus is residential, with over 3,000 students from all around the world living there. So making friends and getting to know other cultures will be unavoidable. Admission is made in five phases. You'll start your application online by registering and providing the information required. Then you'll have to gather all the documents that have to be submitted. All of them must be in English. And as UNIS courses are taught in this language, you'll have to include an English proficiency test certification, unless you're a native English speaker. Once you have all your documents, you can send them by mail or take them in person to the university. After the arrival of your documents, the waiting period starts. Each application will be evaluated and some will have to undergo a phone interview if necessary. The process ends with the announcement of results. When you register online during the first phase, you'll see the application fee exemption, which means you won't have to pay a single dollar for your application. UNIST also offers different scholarships for international students, so make sure to check their website if you need financial aid. And don't forget to read all the information they have there to make a successful and free application. At number 2, we have Pukyong National University. Now we move from Ulsan to Busan, one of the largest cities in Korea, only surpassed by Seoul. Here there is Pukyong National University, which was founded over 20 years ago and has a breathtaking campus. Or should we say campuses? Pukyong has two campuses which are very close to the Sea of Japan in the Nam district. There you will be able to enjoy their three libraries and eight research institutes. It also has a museum, a radiological monitoring station, and its own system of buses. However, Pukyong is much more than its campus. Even though they are mostly known for specializing in fisheries sciences, this university has six colleges. It has departments of humanities and social sciences, engineering, natural sciences, business administration, and of course, fisheries sciences. Once you have all the documents required, including the application form, you'll have to send them by email. Everything must be translated into English or Korean and notarized. The process will start by validating the authenticity of the documents sent. Then there will be an academic ability evaluation where they will evaluate the documents and interviews or additional documents sent depending on the case. Once all the right candidates have been accepted, they will be notified. That's when the payments are made and international students can apply for a D2 visa. In their admission guide, you can see that the application fee is waived for international students. Pukyong also offers scholarships and has a great Korean course available for international students. At number 3, we have Kumo National Institute of Technology. This school was established by Park Chung-hee, who was the president of South Korea between 1963 and 1979. The college specializes in engineering, with 15 engineering departments. It also has departments of architecture, chemistry, and IT convergence. Besides the 
Engineering College, Kumo has a Business Administration College and a Natural Sciences College. The two campuses of this university are full of life, having 45 student clubs and over 7,000 students. They have dormitories available for 2,500 students, and there are great facilities to enjoy college life, such as a little theater and a gallery. If you'd like to study at KIT, the admission process is done in three steps. You will have to go to their website and make the online application. There, you will find a list of 10 documents you have to submit, which must be in English or Korean. Once you have them, submit your documents by mail. It is possible that you will be asked to make an interview if the department requires it, but it's not mandatory. And lastly, candidates will be chosen and notified by the admission committee. When you visit their website, you'll be able to see all the requirements in detail. The admission section explains that they have no application fees and that they offer scholarships for international students who are candidates for masters and doctorates. And that's it. As you can see, these are great universities and not only they don't have any application fees, but as you can see, they also have scholarship opportunities. So what's to lose? I hope this video was informative for you. If it was, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Also, join our live streams on Fridays. We look into more scholarship opportunities and can ask any questions that you might have. As always, for more comprehensive guides on studying abroad as well as scholarship opportunities, visit our website at globalscholarships.com. See you in the next one.